what exactly is memory? I like to think of memory as life's little book. Oscar Wilde called memory the diary that we all carry around with us. And that is so true because oftentimes when you think about memory, it's a book of all of our thoughts and activities and events that were important throughout our life. And when we're having our memories, we think back to how we organize them in a sequence. And we often organize our memories based on olfactory memories. For example, when you wake up in the morning, you say, ah, oh, I smell breakfast. And how did you come to that conclusion? You came to that conclusion because you know that the smell of coffee and bacon and eggs and sausage means breakfast. You didn't say, oh, I smell bacon, I smell eggs, I smell sausage. And even if you did, you have labeled that smell to an actual object. And we continue to have our memories organized in this manner. For example, we'll have visual memories. And even though you look at this and you say, those words are all misspelled, they're all jumbled up, you still know what it says. It says, be really smart and avoid excessive drinking. Because your visual memory of what words should look like allows you to be able to interpret even information that is not visually correct in words that are misspelled. Our memories continue on to auditory memories, such as when you're in the house and you hear this sound, you said, oh no, we missed the garbage man. How did you know you missed the garbage man? Because you know the sound of the garbage truck. Or you say, darn, I've got to find my car keys. Where are they? And you ramble through your purse. It's in the dark. You're on your way to your car. How do you know you felt your car keys and not your eyeglasses? or your cell phone because your tactile memory tells you, oh, those are my car keys. And oftentimes, what will tend to happen is, as memory declines and become more severe, individuals, for example, that don't have mild memory impairment but have moved and progressed into dementia will no longer be able to identify certain sounds. They will no longer be able to identify the feel of certain objects, and sometimes it when food or appetites decline, individuals may not even be aware that that smell that they smell is bacon or eggs or coffee. That smell may be a smell that they don't like. They may associate it with smoke or, or grass or weeds. And these m memory configurations become disorganized and individuals have numerous difficulties in interacting in everyday life. So it's so important to address these issues early on in individuals with mild cognitive impairment. I like to think of memories as brain circuitries being connected as friendships. And what we often think of when we think of brain circuits, I like to think of them as friendships. Friendships that we nourish, memories that we nourish, thoughts that we nourish, interactions that we nourish, those that are maintained and enrich will endure, while those that are neglected will disappear. So that's why it's so important to actually make an active choice in life to exercise your memory skills. Thank you.